good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whatever you may be. Um, first of all, I want to start by by thanking all the people, like thanking IPOP Germany for the protest and for standing with Mazi Nande Kano. I want to thank um, um, Brazil. I want to thank United States of America for all their effort and for standing with him at this point in time. I want to thank all of you. And I want to thank a sister too, um, Elizabeth Bosman, a South African sister who stood with us to show solidarity and to ask for the release of Mas and Nande Kano, my eldest brother and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra from Woodward. Um, so far, I want to let you know, like I said before, that his condition, the, the torture, the inhuman treatment that was meted on him in Kenya enlarged his heart by 13%. He is dying in detention. And we are doing everything possible to make sure that we'll get him a doctor that will take care of him. And we are doing everything too possible to make sure that the trial that is coming on, on uh, that is coming up on the 26th of July this month that he will be well represented both internationally and locally and um, we will continue our protest and other cities too is still rising up is still standing with him, is still doing the need for because we will not abandon him. We will always be with him. So his condition is not very okay because um, we all know what DSS stands for and what they represent. We all know that nobody can be comfortable in the midst of um, brutal Department of State Security, DSS. Since 2015 to date, we all know what he has gone through, the torture and what befell him while in their custody. We all know what DSS is capable of doing. DSS doesn't obey court order. We all know that. DSS is above the law as far as Nigeria is concerned. So he is not safe in the hands of the DSS. And I doubt he cannot get a fair trial in Nigeria. So I urge all Bia fans to be steadfast. I urge all of you to be with him because um, I am depressed. I am saddened. For those of them who rejoice and um, gloat over Mazen and the Kano's um, extraordinary rendition, we all know that it's a global crime, that it is a heinous crime that was committed against him because Kenya delivered him to Nigeria after, after so much torture, after every allegation, they tortured him, asking him if he was a terrorist. He was tortured to the point of death, but it's only by the grace of Chukwuki Kapiyama that he was able to survive it. They did this and yet they are pretending as if 
they don't know the crime that they have committed. And I am calling upon the ICC, upon the European Union, upon the lovers of freedom. I am calling upon um, the UK Parliament. I'm calling upon Boris Johnson. Mazen Nambekano is a British citizen. And Nigeria and Kenya do not have, it is not in their jurisdiction to extradite him to Nigeria because he is not a Nigerian. He is a British citizen. He has renounced that a long time ago. So the crime they committed is a crime against humanity. The crime they committed, Kenya and Nigeria, is a heinous crime. It is, and they, 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 they broke an international law. And I am believing that the UK government will do something in regards to that, in regards to his fundamental human right, in regards to his protection. Because I know they will kill him and they will kill him in detention. They have tried that before and they are willing to do that. They want to kill him. They want to kill him. They want to assassinate him by all means. But I want to make a promise to the Nigerian government. There are millions of Namdekanos. Biafra is an ideology that cannot die. It cannot be killed. It cannot be exterminated because it lives inside every one of us. And I want to tell them that no matter what they do to Mazen Namdekano, it cannot stop the agitation and the quest for Biafra. Biafra must be restored. The sovereign state of Biafra and freedom is all that we ask. And I know that it is not a crime to ask for freedom. We are asking for freedom. Because the killing of our people, the unjust killing of our people, the magnitude is something else. They've been killing us in our thousands. They are killing our people every day in Biafra land. Our people are being abducted every day, even from Obibo, from different parts of Biafra land. And the world is keeping quiet. And the world is pretending as if they don't know what is going on. That they don't know that an unannounced genocide is going on in Igbo land. We are being slaughtered every day like chickens. And I am asking, when will this day stop? When will all these things, which day will this thing come to a stop? When will it stop? Our mothers cannot go to the farm. When they go to the farm, they are raped. When our sisters go to the farm, they are butchered. Bits by bits and dumped everywhere. Who is going to protect us? Mazen Namdekano is the mouthpiece of the Biafrans. Mazen Namdekano Bokwano Ugewai Jahozo. He is the eyes that we see. Mazen Namdekano represents justice for all evils. Mazen Namdekano represent freedom for all, not just the Biafrans. He's even fighting for the Nutners as well. I don't know why there is so much hatred against Mazen Namdekano and the Igbos and the IPOB. I don't know what we have done. We have never carried arms against the Nigerian state. We have only come out with our flags and our phones to protest. Instead of us to listen, instead of them to listen to us and dialogue with us, they clamp down on us. But they treat terrorists in the north with a kid's glove. 
and you are telling me that it's something like one Nigeria and you want me to believe that actually that one Nigeria created that by Britain actually is for all that it exists no it doesn't exist we will continue I will plead with every one of us to continue go to your Twitter tell the world what is happening Take on to your social um, media platforms and speak out to what our people is going on. Yes, we may forget what our enemies said against us, but we can never forget our friends who kept quiet when we are being killed. Our, our, our blood, our flesh and blood, our kin. I am here today to tell the world that Mazen Namdekano, that the possibility of Mazen Namdekano dying in detention in the hands of the DSS and Nigerian government is 85%. I am asking all, all hands to be on deck. Remember our leader in your prayers. Remember our leader and do the need for. We are protesting in diaspora. Wherever you are, make sure that you come out. Because the fight that we are fighting is not just for our personal um, gain. But this is a fight. Martin Namdekano is fighting for the betterment of the Biafran people for a new Biafra that is to come. Mazen Namdekano represent the poor masses. He represent the widows. He represent the orphans. He represent the people who cannot, who have nobody to speak for them. And I stand in solidarity with Mazen and Namdekano. I stand with him and whatever that he represents. I can never abandon him. I can never abandon the struggle. We will continue because arresting him, I think, is one of the biggest mistakes Nigerian government have ever made because they don't have any right to extradite him from Kenya. Tortured him, kept him in a dehumanizing condition, and smuggled him into Nigeria. Have you ever asked yourself what transpired? What happened? You knew how brutal they are. These are people who do not have value for human life. People who do not respect the right of a person. The brutality of DSS. The brutality of DSS. DSS have killed and murdered a lot of people. People who were who died not because they committed crime, who died innocently in their hands, in their underground, they torture yet will claim to be in a democratic dispensation. I ask the Nigerian government to free Mazen Namdekano. I ask the EU to free Mazen Namdekano. I ask the United Nations to free Mazen Namdekano. I ask the UK Parliament to free and protect their citizens. I don't know why they are silent. Does it mean that the British government have a hand in the extraordinary rendition of their citizen Mazen Namdekano? Is there something they are not telling us? 
because I remember they fought for Omar Odiko, who is just a resident and not a British citizen, when he was extradited. They fought for him. I don't know. Is it because of the revolutionary principles of Mazen Namdekan? Is that why Britain is keeping quiet? Is that why they are not doing anything to protect the fundamental human right of Mazen Namdekan, who happens to be a British citizen? Free Mazen Namdekan. He did nothing wrong. He is not wrong by calling for self-determination. He is not wrong by calling for his people's freedom. He is not wrong for saying enough is enough. Stop killing my people. They did nothing wrong. I don't know how else to say it. I don't know how else. I don't know what else we will do. But I want to tell you today, do not relent. Remain resolute and keep on keeping on. Because at the end, I know that we will win. I know that we will win. We will come out victoriously. Because I am sure that this is an international case. So, I want to ask the Nigerian government if they have this capacity to uh, um, to carry out an extraordinary rendition or a forceful rendition on Mazen Namikana from Kenya to Nigeria, does it mean that they cannot do the same in the Sambisa? Does it mean that they cannot combat the terrorists the Fulani terrorist that is ravaging and displacing people in their homes in the north. Does it mean that they cannot come down on them? Does it mean that Nigerian government doesn't have what it takes to stop this impending doom that is ravaging the entire Nigerian nation? Does it mean that the Nigerian government do not know who these Fulani terrorists or headsmen are. Because Mieti Allah comes out openly and says that they are the ones responsible for the chaos and for the killings and for the displacement of people in Nigeria. And yet, the Nigerian government is keeping quiet because they are the sponsors of Fulani Hesman and Boko Haram. They sponsor them. They give them amnesty. They recruit them into the military. When they go, at any slightest provocation, what they do is shoot aside. The same thing they did when they came to our house, in Afaruku Ibeku in 2017. The day they came with their armored tanks and their, um, what is it called? Is it their um, gunship or whatever it is called? Their helicopter gunship that was hovering the whole of the village. What, which one are we going to? Is it the uh, uh, Isu um, airstrike? They have been using airstrike on our people. They have been using extracts in Igbo land, killing our people, yet the world is keeping quiet. Our people are being slaughtered every day. The full army controlled government want to exterminate the Igbos from Biafra land. They want to kill all of us. And I don't know why, what we did to deserve all this. We are not people, we are not terrorists. We are freedom fighters. We are asking to have our own independent state. 
because of a lot of things that the Fulanis have done. They have committed heinous crimes against humanity. The slaughter of people in the north, the slaughter of Christians in the north, the slaughter of um, um, IPO protesters since 2015 till date, their abduction, they kill us at will. And I think they are pushing us to a point where enough is enough. But in my heart of heart, I am believing that we are going to have good news very soon. And I want to thank ESN too for protecting our land. If not for ESN, our land would have been taken from us. They would have overrun us by now because of their Islamic um, 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 agenda.